Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is Salt to Shores of Gold. Developed by Lava Boots Studio, and it is currently 1999. And for any of you that have been following the channel for an extended period of time, because I've been doing this like close to 10 years now, I played the original Salt from beginning to end in the access, beat the end game bosses, all that kind of stuff. So they've taken that original formula, and you can see the graphics are. A big step up from what they were before if you remember and they now focus more on the pve aspect with quests exploring and upgrading your gear and your ship and there is a full quest line to follow i don't know how much of it's currently in the game but you can see right here we have more ships player level talent tree individual skill talent trees in-game content the main quest so i would assume that they will have only so much of it currently in the game. We have a visible player avatar, which is different. They didn't have that before. Uh, new island types and map UI improvements, which is good. The biggest problem with the last one was it was impossible. They never really put a map system in that you could really guide yourself well with. But you can see if you guys want to pause the video, read all these various things. And I thought we would start a brand new game. It's currently $19.99 unless they put it on sale, which I'm sure they will. They're always hitting the Steam sales. Uh, independent developers, that is. So I thought we'd see how far we can get. As always, it's up to you guys. You smash that like button. Let me know you like it. And if you guys could do me a favor and help me get to 10,000 subs, that is the current goal for this year. Trying to do that, see if we can do this full time. So let's get into it. And we're just going to do everything except the name let's see there we go how about drake nighthawk sounds good to me There you go, and I'm going to leave that cutscene in because it does give you, uh, as we go through the little cutscenes, will give you an idea of what you can do. All right, so what do we got right now? Can we pick up anything? What's that bottle? All right, got a fire. Let's see, cartographer's station... There we go. A note from a stranger. Well, first thing they need to do is make that a little bit bigger. I don't know about you guys. It's kind of hard to read. If you're reading this, you didn't die. I found you shipwrecked and barely cleaned the life. Unfortunately, I have somewhere I need to be. There's a cave north of camp with enough supplies to build a raft and get off this island. If I were you, I would build the raft and head for the nearest seaport. I'm leaving a map, compass, and sextant on the table here. The map contains coordinates to a seaport. Use the compass and sextant to navigate there. Once you have done so, it might be a good idea to talk to the cartographer. If you're going to survive out there, you need a proper ship and crafting stations to place on it. Maybe he can help you upgrade your upgrade to a better vessel and get you on your way. Good luck, stranger. Maybe we'll meet again. Okay, so we got... Oop. That was our compass. Uh, use the sextant item to find your current coordinates and compass to determine your direction. You'll often discover coordinates to interesting locations. You can mark a destination on your map to keep track of it. Ooh. Oh, yes. 
Most melee weapons have primary and secondary attacks, holding the attack button to activate the secondary attack, which is generally slower, but deals more damage. You can also block with most weapons by holding the right mouse button or left trigger on your gamepad by default. A perfect time to block at the last second will parry the enemy, opening him up for a critical hit. Oh, which is always a pain in the ass. Map? Ooh, that's definitely... Throughout your adventures, you'll loot map items that go into your inventory. You can hover over these items in your inventory to see coordinates to a point of interest. You can also inspect the map item to add a waypoint on your personal map. Ooh, okay, let's see. So let's go to inventory. And we're going to put the cutlass in the first spot. And the compass in the second. Hopefully we can actually use those. Let's see. Food, no food. An empty bottle, which we'll probably wind up putting potions in. Joe's location. Okay. So there it is. All right. Click on a square to add or remove your word point marker. I do no such thing. But that's where it is. The question is, where are we currently, right? Here's our equipment. We got inventory, map, equipment. Yeah, we should probably. There we go. There, okay. Zero, zero, huh? So that's where we are. That's where we want to go. Okay. And then the compass. It's... Oh, God. You can't even see. All right. Here we go. In the sun. So north would be that direction. But I think we're going to take a little trip around the old camp here. So when it comes to sprinting, they have an on-off the... Uh, Options are real limited, as you can see. All right. I got the field of view cranked up all the way. But that... Here's our controls. Interact, shift. Unfortunately, the sprint is either you, uh, you... It stays on when you run. We've got all our hotkeys, map, quests. That's a good one to remember. Because if anything, that's what we'll do here as we go through. We'll do as many quests as, as they have. See how far. All right. And we're going to collect as much as we can because you never know what can be used. In a quest. Uh, wood, for instance, tends to be. Let's see. Oh, where, where where is it? That's a good question. Ah, here we go. The more wood you have, the easier it is to build ships. That's about the, one of the few things I remember for the game. So we want to make sure we're collecting as much as we can as we go through. That and they'll be like, we can make health potions, all kinds of stuff to begin with. This is what I'm most interested to see is how well the water is. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll get out there soon enough. Soon enough. Now, I know, I think, currently the game does help you. Can't pick those, can we? No. Can't chop it. Ooh, what's this? Oh, look at that. We get experience for plant fibers. Okay. Those look a little different than they used to. see in the down in the bottom left corner of the bananas that I think is our um, currently our food now in the old game 
you used to take your bow and shoot apples, all kinds of different kinds, out of trees. Interesting if they do anything like that again. But as we go, I'm gonna do my best to give you guys an idea of some. Ooh. The cabin. They didn't say anything about a cabin. It was a cave we were supposed to go into, right? Drunken Man's Shack. Ooh. Uh, you want to rest until sunset? You'll have your health increase in your hunt. No, we don't want it yet. Requires a key. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Uh, okay. The Roma has gone to my head. Can't even remember where I hid the key to the storage shed. I feel like it was on a stone. No. A tomb. No, a tombstone. Yeah, that was it. Wait. I need another drink first. Look, 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 look. Hmm, that. It's immune. Okay, I was wondering. All right, so we're going to have to get a pickaxe. Anything in here? Clan Ooh. So is there a way to take everything? Oh, there we go. We just keep hitting the F button. All right. So we're looking for a tombstone. There's the tombstone. All right. Yes. Ooh, what do we get? We get arrows, health potion, lockpick. Okay, okay. So, whole point in looting in the game will be to, uh, we'll be able to buy things, right? Because there are vendors in the game. Rope, that's always helpful. You never know, you might need it for sales. Can take, no. <gasps> Adventurer bow. Sneak. Oh. Sneak by pressing C on the keypad or right thumbstick on the gamepad while sneaking attack deals extra damage to unaware enemies. You don't. Oh, okay. So whenever we want to come up on somebody, now we're going to want to go right into here. Put this four. Okay. That's going to take some getting used to. But it's all good. Okay. Oh, that looks like a cave. Let's see. And our stamina isn't affected at all. It's only affected by running. It doesn't look like it's affected by our weapon. The San de Grato. Ooh, what do we got here? Looking station. Oh, nope, we'd have to kill something. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, that was nice transition. Nice and quick, like that. Oh no, we're not going to be able to have everything up on our, our hot bar. We need a bigger hot bar. Ah. <gasps> Right there, and that would be why I'll have to put that in three. We'll take the stone to begin with. I'm not quite sure if we'll need it. Okay. Ooh, cooking oil, copper ingot, uh, health potion. Oh, yeah. Oil, rope, sandpaper. 30 logs. Damn. So that'll be enough to build our first raft. So in the original game, you had to go collect all that to first get out onto the waves. Okay. Come here, suck up! Oh, you gonna die! Hmm. 
Hmm, I wonder what that little bar is. I think the bar at the bottom would be a... We have a talent point to go through. Throughout your adventures, you'll discover crafting recipes. Interact with these recipes in your inventory to learn them. You can then craft them by using the appropriate crafting station. You can also see all earned recipes in the known recipes section of the inventory, and you can track recipes from there or at a crafting station. Ooh. All right, I gotta stop hitting my E. Most times it is E. Uh, for, you know, interaction. This one, it's F. All right, well, I think that's all that there was in there. Health potions are crucial to survive and come in. You can, uh, uh hot... Interesting. Okay. Let's see, what can we do? Well, we got... We could make cook bear. Strength for five minutes, huh? Oh, this one, no, no. Fried bass. Well, you have to catch that. Uh, okay. Uh, I thought we picked up a bunch of bottles. That must be. Oh, morning dew. What is morning dew? Oh, we don't have enough strong plant fibers. Okay. Oh, plant oil. Yeah, we got enough plants. And stamina potion. Okay. Well, I'm going to craft this for one reason, one reason only. Look at the experience. Okay. So now it says we return to camp. Well, we will in a sec. Well, it's a good idea just to do a quick little runabout. You never know. You never know. Oh, hello. Yeah, it doesn't affect your stamina at all. Ooh, flint. That's usually helpful. Making sure there weren't any more around here. Ooh, we started, wasn't there? I could have sworn when we took. Oh, go. Okay, so to build boats, you gotta go into your cartography station. Now, the wave skipper, that'll be our first one. Here we go. So we'd need wood planks. We have enough linen. Copper ingots, sandpaper, stone block. Versus wood. How much? Oh, it doesn't even say we need any. We just need seven wood planks. I want. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Easy enough. Decorations. Okay. And let's see. Go to ships. Uh, basic raft. Okay, so place. There we go. Wow, the water looks great. Oh, oh there we go. This is where you gotta get up. All right, so we drop that. We'll start going forward. We can guide ourselves. But before we do that, all 
Right, and that's where we want to go. So we got north, so we got to go south, right? So pull out the compass. That means we got to go that direction. All right, ships can be found in the ship tab of your inventory and can be placed by interacting with the item. There is no need to worry about beaching your ship. Interact with the ship item again to redeploy it. Once you obtain a ship, you always have it available and can deploy it whenever you wish to wear uh, near water, which is good. slowly come on course here and this is the now this is some of the best part of the game it's just it's relaxing you can look uh the old game you have to use the rudder back there we don't use that now wow the water effects have definitely gotten better and if i remember it's really easy to overcorrect. Now, this is a pro procedural generated, so there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff in here. But in the middle of all that, there's also, whoa, some big waves. Let's see, we'll try and go to the side here just to... And you can't use anything while you are zipping here, zipping along. So yeah, we're still heading directly south. Let's see. Yeah, I should probably stop to do that. All right, so where are we currently? Oh, okay. So it should be... Southeast, so that island, I would guess. Oh, you can like try and catch the thing. Oh, I'm trying to catch the wave. Catch it. How cool. Yeah, they've really done some great stuff with the physics here. Holy crap. Ooh, the sun's going down behind us. That's never good. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you're still with me. If you want uh, this left in the game, or do you guys just want the islands, or how do you guys want to do it? What all would you guys like to see in the upcoming videos? should hit the shore pretty quick. I didn't see an anchor on this thing.
But that's that's part of the good thing of this, right? So we can drop this wherever we want. It's permanently with us, so. Ooh, here we go. I think we found the island. Yep. Can I help you? Ah, uh, stranger of these parts. Okay. What do you sell? Hunting equipment, mostly bows, armor, you name it. Cedar stock. Alright, so we got arrows or tin copper. I have. Jeez. Two gold, 64 silver, 50. Man, they give us a lot. I'm going to wait to buy anything until I know what we need. What's this? Warrior's decoction. For 15 minutes, we get... Okay, so if you, like, fight any, uh... Any dudes... Be a good idea to have that. All right, what do you do? Uh... What do you have for sale? He's got copper ore, health potion, plant fibers, and a mailbox. What do you need a mailbox for? Ooh, it got dark as shit. The bigger the ship, the better the sailor. Uh, you've got the look of a new sailor about you. Are you looking for a master navigator to take you under his wing? Yes, do you see a master anywhere? Nice. Don't be ridiculous. You're looking at one. This hair didn't get this beautiful from sunshine alone. You only get these curls with the salt of the sea. But I digress. I will. I will help you become a respectable sailor. Okay. What do I need to do? First, a sailor doesn't sail a dingy old raft. You need a proper ship. And why not go with the old wave skipper? Okay. Wave skipper is a fantastic ship for young and old soldiers alike. Destined last century by a navigator named Bertram. The ship was originally crafted with... Don't need a history lesson. <clears throat> I see. I get carried away sometimes. My apologies. At this rate, you'll need lots of materials to craft it. I'd be willing to give you the supplies if you do something for me first. What do they call it? Quid pro quo. Okay, what do you need? Some pesky pirates stole my favorite compass. I want you to hunt them down and murder every old guy till I get my... <clears throat> Excuse me. I would like you to find my compass, plain and simple. I'm sure pirate wandering near here is carrying it. Return it to me and I'll give you the supplies for your ship. Oh, and here, I'll give you a map to the pirate island. It might be a good place to check. If you've already been to that island, killed the pirates there, you can find my pirates at many other islands. I'm sure one of them will be carrying my compass. Oh, and don't forget, once you craft a ship, it always stays in your inventory. That means you can place it in the water many times as you like. Yep, 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 yep. And here's his cartographer station, right? So that's what, ooh. And he's gonna give us some materials for it. We just have to get. Oh, he's not complaining, so we're gonna take stuff. Okay. You are you a sailor? Well, that's creepy. Hello there, traveler. I haven't seen you before, have I? Who knows? Okay. Ooh. So here is. Treasure Hunter's Hook Recipe. Okay. Who else do we need to speak to? Blacksmith. You have to buy. Yeah, let me see what you have. Make your own cutlass, a champion's axe. I 
think we already have a mercenary's cutlass. One to six versus one to four. Hmm. World tears. That must be how they rank what you're doing. Okay. Oh, I can't grab those. Oh, man. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, we can rest. Yeah, we'll rest until sunrise. There we go. Find any good booty. Okay, so he's just an idiot. That rope stuff, can we pick any of this up? Nope. Oh, okay. Hmm. Again, I told you already. Oh, my. I think it was someone else. This puny little run who keeps bothering me about going joining the guild. We don't need timid and weak members. We need someone with strong experience with a blade. What guild? One of the toughest, most dangerous guild in the high seas, of course. The Marauders Guild. Uh, my job is to recruit new members. Should I deem them more there, of course? Uh, take contracts, killing pirates. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have mine. Uh, let's see. I need to know you aren't all bark and no bind. A country just came in a couple of days ago. The client wants a pirate. Captain dealt with and dealt with by, I mean, dead. Six Okay. Yeah, we'll take that on. Yeah, who knows how long that'll take for that to actually happen, but... Alright, well, what are you? All about fashion. Now, what do you have? Okay. Dead Man's Dester, a recipe for a tunic. Okay. Oh, it increases your max health. How do I not have... Oh, here's mine. <laughs> I was looking over here thinking this was mine. No, I got 12 copper. Okay, we can't buy shit. Never know what's up in the tavern. What's up in the tavern here? We've got room if you got the gold. Uh, yeah, what kind of stock do you have? Health potions... Nope, can't afford anything. I can buy some rum. Nope. Stay out of trouble and there won't be any. Alrighty, folks. So, we'll stop right there. And what we'll do is in the next episode, I will find the pirate island and we'll start on that pirate island. See if we can kill us some bad guys. So, keep your heads down. You're Blades of Doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.